What is up everyone? It is Brad here today in the Bricklink room for another Bricklink vlog. Today in the vlog, I've got a lot of things that I need to get done for the Bricklink store. Of course, you guys would have seen the last update where I talked about how I want to get all of these Lego sets parted out very soon. And that's exactly what I'm going to work on today. So an update from the last vlog, I actually went to the dollar store to buy more bins of like these clear bins for these parts. However, the dollar store didn't have a single one in stock. Like sometimes they do this, they like discontinue the bin or whatever. So like, I don't care if it's the exact same one. It's like, in the storage room it doesn't matter but the fact that they had no bins that would have done any like it wouldn't have done the job whatsoever they only had like massive ones so i didn't get anything so i've just got all the parts in here for now and i'm gonna go check out another dollar store i'm in toronto there's a dozen dollar stores near me so i'm just gonna keep going to one until maybe i find it because sometimes they have a little bit different stock but in the meantime that's why all of these parts are gonna have to stay in the shipping container bin just because it wasn't possible to buy any other bins i also realized in the meantime before i go back home to get more boxes for brick loot i've got these uh, containers here these cardboard boxes that I'm just gonna pull out and at least get started by having some 1800 lots here because they can't just sit on the shelves these are just M&M &M meat boxes and I will just get more of the Bricklink boxes soon when I go back home but in the meantime this can go up here and I'll do some relabeling and yeah, they're honestly right about the same size so that's actually perfect now of course it is time to part out some lego sets i think i'm gonna do this one first just because it looks fun to do and that is the black panther wakanda forever set this is the shuri sunbird 355 pieces unfortunately i only have three of them i don't know why i only have three of them i probably couldn't get more or anything at the time but three is okay i'm gonna work with what i have all right so i've got the set all parted out now it's just sorted by color so it makes it easier for me to sort the lots a little bit later on there's three copies here all the black parts are in here because the set is majority black and then i've got all three of the lego minifigures or four of the lego minifigures sorry all laid out here and labeled this one had a lot of extra parts in it so that's why it's in a much larger bag but i keep all the minifigures together sometimes people order just one sometimes people order all three so the whole lot so it's just easier to store them that way if they order a lot i can just ship them easier and now it's time to sort all these parts individually of course but first i actually haven't ordered a pack so i'm going to do that and it's perfect because i think i'm actually going to use this uh this set here because i feel it's roughly the exact size that i need maybe just a little bit too big but yeah that's perfect i can easily cut it down a little bit because i don't think i have any other set boxes maybe this one will be a bit better but i do try and reuse lego set boxes while i can for shipping sweet so i got the order all packed here not got it in this nice diy box it's awesome it's secure it's full of bubble wrap now i just have to write on the label and bring this to the post office ideally i will do it on my way to work tomorrow however sometimes i don't leave the house early enough to go to the post office so i might have to do it on my lunch break I went to a different dollar store like I said I would and I managed to get six of the bins. They only had exactly six left. Three of them even have these weird colored lids. They're not just the transparent lids, but it's okay because I don't use the lids anyway. I just use the bottom of the bins, but luckily they had six left and six was already pretty much the exact quantity that I was going for. So this is perfect. Now I'll be able to expand all the shelves down here. I'll put three more on the bottom and then put the remaining three up here. I don't know if I actually need them yet, but it's good to have them. And yeah, you guys can see those are just the lids from all the other bins down there. They are not in use. And I'm just continuing parting out that set. I've actually added all the lots to my Bricklink store. So now I just have to go through and put them in the proper places. So of course to do that, I will need this bin right here where it's got all the baggies of small lots and all of the large lots. So I'm gonna start assembling these together now. I'll also probably grab these bins just to make my life a little bit easier. I'm out of the small size bags for the large lot, so I'm going to start numbering a bunch of them now. You guys can see they're all down here. I remember when I first started this, I only had a, not even 200 of them, and now I'm up to 750, and I'm going to be making even more today. So it just goes to show that when you part out more sets, you need more large bags and stuff like that. But I'm not able to finish parting out the rest of the set until I build or until I write on some more bags. Woo, and I am up to lot 800 now of the large bags, which is pretty exciting. So good thing I bought all those bins the other day. All right, so it's a good thing I got all the bags done because I filled up a bunch of parts here. These are parts I already have in the inventory, so I just have to go add them in their respective bags. Same with the rest of these cups here uh, and a couple of these parts here. But the rest of these, all these parts are now ready to be added and put away into the actual inventory in the store, which for the most part, a lot of them will go in these bins here. I have to add four more of these bins for these 1800s now because i just added those i don't have any 1900s yet and then of course i have to make a couple new bins because this only goes up to six 
75 but now we're started on putting sets in bags up to 800 so i've got to do a bunch more labeling so actually it turns out that i could put these bins four across so i managed to fit all the six new ones i got and i still have room for three more which is awesome i did not realize i could do four across but these are supposed to be the same bins or i thought they were these ones i got here are obviously a different size than this one because these don't fit as nicely four across you guys can tell um but then down here they fit across nicely and there's a gap on the side so I didn't even realize that Dollarama changed bins at one point, but I guess they did. I'm in the Bricklink room right now, actually just packing an order. This is a decently large order. It's not like a, it's a lot of lots. It's like almost 50 lots and 200 and some pieces. So not big part wise, but big lot wise. So it's going to take me a little while to pack, but I've been doing it so far, so far, so good. And I've just uh, got a bunch of the pieces in here and getting ready to lay out. And then I'm going to start heat sealing them. It's been a good day in the Bricklink room. I actually just finished filming a tour of the whole room just because a lot of you guys have been asking to kind of see it in a bit more detail. So I did a full walkthrough, which I'm excited to show you. And then I just spent the evening packing a few orders as well. So two just got packed and are ready to go. And then I actually already had three here as well that I packed the other day that I've got to take to the post office. So now I'll bring all five there now. So I am slowly but surely getting this room completely under control. I know I just did a room tour. It's on my main channel now. But tonight I wanted to work here in the Lego room and the Bricklink room a bit more so i emptied out both of the storage containers of parts so all of the large lots and the small lots are now actually where they belong and i also sorted out all the parts that were here in pick a brick cups that needed to be sorted from the part out that i just didn't get away so as much as it was very un you know unexciting and that's why i didn't really film it a lot was still able to get done i'm packing a bricklink order here one that i just got in and it's got a it's a very small order just four different lots but as you guys can see of the four lots they only ordered one or two pieces from each and then left some parts so i wanted to know like when you guys are packing bricklink orders or you get bricklink orders are you oh, do you like orders like this like do you like the fact that they left one part in there so you know you still have it in your, your inventory or would you rather they just clear out the whole lot like i had this debate with my dad the other day he was like oh it makes sense to just leave it in there but like i don't know i kind of like when people clear out the lot so no preference i'll take orders from both and that's why i don't have a lot limit or anything like that and no matter what the order is big or small i'm very appreciative to get it but i was just curious what your guys preferences may be all right you guys we are back now and i'm gonna be brutally honest with you guys i am not sure where this bricklink vlog has left off i've kind of developed this terrible habit where i start filming a bricklink vlog and then it's to hold myself accountable but then life just gets in the way i don't pick up the camera for a long time next thing you know it's three months later and i'm still working on the same video and it is absolutely a mess so even though i don't remember where i left off i am going to start back off by packing some orders i just had to grab the laptop here because i left it charging out here in the lego room these are both very tiny orders here they came in in the last few days they're just like a couple parts in each and this one i've had for a while but the buyer is just not paying on that one but i'm gonna get started with this one first this one is a mere total of two different parts a total of seven different pieces both pink bricks and there we go i've got the order packed up here with the seven bricks as well as a business card for it to go in the envelope first order is all packed up and i just finished packing the second order as well this one was even easier literally one piece and there we go i've got two more orders ready to go to the post office so this next stage in the vlog i would love to tell you that it is time to do some set parting out because i still have the avatar i've had them since like july i've still got this which i probably bought in quarter one or quarter two of last year and then all of these so i've got these sets that i need to part out and i'm gonna do that but unfortunately not in this video realistically i think this is probably gonna be the end of the brickling vlogs here on the youtube channel unfortunately as much as i enjoy running the brickling store it's just not a huge priority for me in terms of lego and content creation it's a great side income it's a great side hustle but i just don't have a lot of time to actually dedicate to running the store every single week it is like upload sets when i can part out sets when i can and like pack orders when I can uh, pack orders more frequently obviously I want to be a good, good business but like I just don't have the same amount of time to dedicate to Bricklink as I do the YouTube channel and stuff like that and that could change in the future priorities always do shift there has been times over the years since I opened that store that I've spent more time each week on the Bricklink store than I did the YouTube channel and again it might come to that again someday but for now I do want to focus on like my video content so I'm not shutting down the Bricklink store or any means I'm still going to part those sets out as I have to I'm just really slowing down on that and that's why I probably won't be making another vlog anytime soon. Somebody had just pointed out in the comments on the last vlog that it doesn't make sense that I'm making these vlogs and then uploading them six months later. Like some of the parts are no longer there anymore. The content I was talking about isn't really relevant. So 
that's why I'm like, you're right, that makes a lot of sense. So I'm gonna wrap up this vlog and then probably just work on the Bricklink store without actually filming it for YouTube or maybe just including it in the Bricklever Vlogs channels and things like that. But of course, as always, you guys can let me know what you think of that down in the comments below. And if you don't think that's a good idea and you still wanna see the vlogs, let me know and maybe there's something I can still do. But we'll have to see. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's Bricklink store vlog. I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, of course, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe. And I'll see you here in the next video.